So welcome to the next lesson of the Yona School and this lesson is for advanced player and today I'm explaining you how to make my my version how to make the vibrato. So um, I tried a lot of things and I can um, explain you two types of vibrato and um, I think afterwards you can decide. I, actually, there are two approaches. If you can see my hands, no, they are not. My finger is not so long, and in order to vibrate, we need like this kind of movement. And this kind of movement has to be as big as possible, you know, to make a big vibrato. So, I will recommend to um, the people that has short finger like my one to make this first vibrato that now i'm going to explain for making this vibrato vibrato you have to take your hand not like this but like this why because if you take your hand in this way look the part of your finger that is on the board is really little so you cannot move so much this is a vibrato setting that I would suggest for people that has long fingers for people like me I would suggest this vibrato look how much fingers is over the board and look how much can I move so let's try to explain how it works after you took the violin till the end. Look, till the end without leaving any space. Just leave your finger down and try to make this movement. Just move your hand in the direction away of your body and just. Try just to leave the finger on the board and move the rest to get the feeling of vibrating. Do it also with the second finger. Show it like this maybe, make you see. Don't worry if the thumb is moving. It's just now a movement learning process. The third. Look, it just have to push the finger, no, the hand away and the hand will come back. Why is it so important? Because if you try to make one impulse away and one impulse on your, to make it one, two, one, two, the problem will be that you need a lot of energy. If you just push your hand away the hand will come automatically to you because your hand has a shape uh, we we'll say a shape form that you always take if you are relaxed this one look if you just move your hand the hand will get always in the same place if you are relaxed look so this is the problem that we have to train now, the first phase is just put the finger and push it away. The only thing you have to, you have to worry about is to leave the hand relaxed and the finger on the same place. Look. And with the second. And with the third. Also with the fourth. The fourth, my suggestion is to leave the third finger down so the fourth can move freely and not so stressed because the fourth doesn't have so much power. You don't have to use power to press. If you press, you don't move your hands. That's quite easy. So, this is the first vibrato that you can learn. This was the first step. The second step is to leave your thumb relaxed on the other side and try to make the same movement 
and this time try to leave a little space like this look my hand really really carefully now there is no space the thumb cannot move a little little space just a little in order that your thumb can move but can remain always relaxed now we have two contact points one and two and that's enough when you will study this please do it really slowly and, and, and think just away back away relax away relax away relax start maybe with the second or with the third finger because are the longer one away relax away relax and think always about a little, little space you leave with your thumb not big not nothing just really little in order to leave your hand work just look at my hand I'm not closing my hand I'm trying to open it in order that I can do naturally this movement and not this one that is much more difficult this one is much more natural if you have question I will explain you in the next video this the third and the fourth step of the vibrato for the little fingers. Have fun, good work.